Okay, hello, and here is a little bit background on this my test result, and I had this uh, oxygen amount is too high, and we can see in this meter it is this uh, right area and central this number amount, and it is now something like five five to five point seven, and it is too high, and this is this oxygen emission. This result is so high because I have leak in my catalytic converter and exhaust pipe joints. And let's look those next more. Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that that how to fix this bad catalytic converter oxygen oxygen result. And also, if we go to this uh, emission test, and we have too high oxygen amounts. And what is then wrong? And now I am showing this catalytic converter, and we are just now in below of this car area. And when we go to look that catalytic converter, we can see in here that there is big leak in there and, and, and if we have that amount of leaks in our catalytic converter because this part is in here this is catalytic converter and, and, and we can even hear small sound that there is some leak in our exhaust manifold this is the issue what what cause and makes this too high oxygen emission. And then when we look, check that 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 first joint in here, here we can see that there is no any leaks in here. And that means that that normally when we have this this back area catalytic converter leak in here this makes that, that when this exhaust gases goes in here very fast this leak takes more air in that area and then we have too high oxygen amounts of course this leak could be in somewhere else but, but when this is so big in here it is easy easy to notice and, and then how to fix that issue it happens so that there are those bolts and then we need new gasket and I have here new gasket and when you are planning to install new gasket to your catalytic converter remember always that this is so hot uh, exhaust pipes part that we need to use these original uh, gaskets and we can find these parts like if we have car like Ford that we need to go in this Ford original dealership and then if we have car like Toyota we need to go to purchase just original parts and then these things last because like in that that catalytic converter when I have two gaskets this one is in in that part and then I take next next gasket and then this next gasket what is little bit bigger and actually th thinner it becomes in here and that means that that these catalytic converters gasket they are really unique and that's please use original gaskets and then your car works fine and next I I will show that how this this um, these bolts opens because I have already opened these bolts and, and then then I take that Bolt away. And this was 
first bolt and then I take second bolt here and this arm and, and when I have take the bolt away we continue. Okay and now I have take those bolts away and then I can little bit I can little bit move that part and there is this old gasket and we can see that that this gasket they can't be black in that one because this black means that there is this this air flow through these gaskets and if we can see that we have black gasket in here and one one part in here is like like clean then we know that there is leak in that area and here is this old gasket and then I take a new one and there is this new one gasket and it goes so that that I insert that in in here and and it fits in there nice and then I lift that, that gasket in there and then the final part is that that I insert those bolt back and I tighten these bolts. Okay, and then when I have installed that new gasket and leak is away, we can check the new result. And here is my the new result. And when we look this uh, right uh, up area, there is 2.43 is this amount. And now my emission control is fine, fine, and my leak is also away in my catalytic converter area. And thank you.